What's up, guys? Pittsburgh Weishwartz back again with another part of our JoJo set review. Uh, I got Brian and Zach with me on the card, and we have a special guest with us this time. We have the I Love Hentai from Discord, Ollie himself. <laughs> you know the one. <laughs> you can't hear me, but I'm, I'm clapping right now. <laughs> oh, man. How's it going? I'm uh, Oliver. I'm uh, the resident Discord dink memer. So, I'm, you know... What better set for me to come on and review, I guess, right? Yeah, especially <laughs> starting with green. <laughs> and uh, actually, uh, surprisingly, have tournament results on this game, so I guess that qualifies me. Hell yeah. That's what we like All to right. hear. Mm -hmm. All right, Brian, tell us about this card. Uh, I'm first. Okay. Uh, we have uh, Formaggio and Tiny Feet, Fear of Shrinking. Uh, when this card is placed on the stage from your hand, all your opponent's front row characters get minus 500 for the turn. Uh, auto, when this card is placed on the stage from your hand, uh, drop search for a Golden Wind character. Mm, how relevant is drop search? Pretty relevant. Uh, <laughs> your, the main combo, if you're playing green, doesn't uh, actually like search or salvage. Well, it salvages specific characters, so like selection is like pretty rough in that deck so this is pretty important and sometimes a minus 500 power can be kind of relevant yeah like i don't know we didn't see a drop searcher in yellow or in the trial deck so mm -hmm. i was yeah, worried it's, if it's they a, had one or not it's dank tech if fate decides to uh front row the uh clock on core assist yeah they just remove it <laughs> if, they, them, yeah. if they put zero avenger up front and jp this just kills kaban in the front row, yeah. <laughs> it, does, yes, it, does, it, does it doesn't get reversed, doesn't go to memory. Yeah, Outplayed. Yeah, less relevant in English than it is in JP, but like it's probably has some bit of relevance. Especially since your uh, level 1 combo is unreversed. Mm. Yeah, it's also noticeable that green starts with rare. There are no double rares <laughs> in green. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a super affordable uh, color line. color. Okay. All right, yeah, I think I'm ready to rate. I think it's it's like a B. It's, yeah, it's like it's, it's like a B. B. Yeah, the drop searcher. Uh, yeah, B's fine. The fact that JoJo has access to a drop searcher, even if they don't necessarily need one, is nice. Yeah, especially with how like garbage the trial deck was. Nice that. It, <laughs> Good lord. At least it's like you know an accessible card. All right, moving on. Uh, so what is this? That's you. Malone and uh, Babyface. Uh, baby face. Baby head. Baby head. Stop. Important <laughs> compatibility <laughs> diagnosis. Uh, when your character's trigger check reveals a climax, choose one of your characters. That character gets a thousand power this turn, and then it's a rest two. Uh, you mill two. Pay one rest two. Mill two. Choose a character in your waiting room and return it to your hand. And it's that level. Oh, it's just two cigarettes on a body. Is that yeah. what this is? Okay. Yeah, so it's it's built to uh, salvage level X, uh, level equal to the level of what you build. That was a lot of levels. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's cigarette. Yeah, cigarettes. Rest too. Hmm. Like, uh, what, what brainstorm do you run in this green deck? Uh, you usually run the uh, Giorno. Yeah, you just run the good mm -hmm. one. And then yeah. um, there's also just like a. Uh, a uh, plus off top two in red. Mm, okay. And the run that also has like a pretty relevant extra effect. So I don't know how much you would actually want to value this card. Being rest two is pretty shitty. Yeah, a rest mm. two for this where it's like, I guess this is as close. This isn't as good as the administrator, right? Because that's a rest two check top five add one. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's ambush union. It's ambush union. Yeah. Yeah. But this is like. I don't know. It's a plus on first deck. Like, it's not yeah. bad. Like, the first effect is Helisaki, but it's a good it's, plus um, on first deck. I mean, there's also, like, there's an okay amount of mill, but, like, getting this early, your selection's usually not going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. until yeah. You get closer to the end of your first deck. At which point, then, like, when you're about to refresh yeah. them, brainstorms probably be end up start being more relevant, and it's a self rest. So yeah, on second deck, it's garbage, for yeah. sure. So uh, I'll give it like 
I don't know, like a C plus maybe. I'm, niche, niche plus. I, I don't even, I don't, I, I don't I don't even like it that much. I'm giving it yeah. a C minus. Yeah, I'm tempted. Yeah, Brian's right. I, I, yeah, I'll give it. A, I'll go down the middle. Give it a C. All right. Next. It's all you only. All right. Uh, so we got uh, prosciutto, great teachings. Uh, one zero thirty five hundred recollection for each prosciutto, great teachings and memory. This gains two K power. When it's reversed in battle, if you have two or less memory, you may send this to memory. Uh, this card notably uh, interacts with the level one combo in green. We want to just look at that now. We want to skip to it. Uh, this is the next card, so I don't yeah. know if you want to or not. Yeah, let's pop over to it real quick. Zach, you want to read this one for us? Then we'll pop back. Get a better Pishy. idea of what he does. Pishy and Fishman. I don't remember the, what it's actually uh, called. Beach Boy. Beach Boy. Great teachings. It can't side attack. Recognition for each Prashoda. Great teachings in memory. Gains 15. And where opponent comes reversed, if the bar is in your time zone, you can put up to one card from the top of your library in the stock. Choose up to one Prosciutto and the Thankful Death Weight of readiness in a waiting room and return to hand. So do you want to look at this uh, third part of the combo? <laughs> uh, no, I mean, that one's kind of on its own. It just yeah, pluses that, that was a not card. As, as relevant. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, so, so basically, um, you just kind of like charge the level ones in the memory and you, you make both, both level ones really big. Uh, I think... The prosciutto gets to seventy five, yeah, seventy five hundred. Yeah, one zero, with like no detriment. And this will be an eight k, yeah. Yeah, it's a, uh, yeah. The the petchy gets to what fifty five seven eighty five hundred. Yeah. It managed to get three in memory. Yeah. So if you're playing this combo, your first level one turn is like just running out as many of these uh, great teachings as you can. Yeah. And then yeah. you follow up with, like, even though it's probably, like, your second level one turn, or maybe even level yeah. two or whatever, if you're unlucky, you're at least swinging in at, like, nine with the climax. If you've yeah. crashed two, at least. Yeah. So. And then it's a, it's a wall that stock charges and also pluses, so, like, it's, it's pretty solid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and... I mean, this is the best climax combo we've seen so far in the mid-game. I, I would say, yeah, it's the best. I think it's the best climax combo in the set. Yeah, especially because it's on bar. That's pretty nasty. And, like, I don't know, if you play standby with this, you could standby out, like, just free. You could, like, play your 8k wall, and yeah. it's free. You, like, you don't have to pay stock for it if you have to hard play. Yeah, it's all, yeah, it's a really good standby target if you already have prosciutto's in memory. Going back to just the great teachings, though, um, I just like these cards. I, I've been playing a lot more Fate. And, like, I value these cards that just say when they die, they just go to memory. Just free compression. Like, you yeah, play memory, it, it dies. compression is, uh, yeah, not, not to be underestimated. So, I don't know. I'm going to give this just, like, it's, like, not an amazing card on its own. But it's, yeah, like, it's not. Give it's it, like, a B-. minus. It's, like, it, it, if, if you want to put it in terms of the package, I think it's probably better. I, but I, I'd probably give it a B-plus, to be honest. Like, even mm -hmm. if you... Even if you, even just the uh, shows by itself, if you like, don't manage to get the combo. Like, if you get two of these in memory, this is still sitting at a seventy-five. This is a free seventy-five, yeah. That's yeah. pretty much walling most uh, most combos. Walls out union. How... That's all that matters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How easy is it to get all these when you hit um, level one, though? That's the that's the that's what I've been wondering about. There is another level zero that uh, when it dies, it sends this to memory from waiting room. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it's pretty okay. good. That, that's, so, that's, re that's relevant, yeah. Okay. That no. changes things. Also yeah. <laughs> easy, easy straight B, then. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah that, that was my main concern. It's like, that seems like an awful lot to have to get by level one. I mean, I don't but, know. But that, that makes things a lot easier. This is no worse than, like, trying to play Shiroha, right? Like, in general. No, amassing that not. many pieces. Yeah, you got a drop searcher, man. That's all you need. I mean, I've, I've never experienced that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It's fine. It's good. Yep. All right. So this is definitely the better part of the combo. In terms yeah. of, like, in this set, it's on bar. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of just want to give this an A. Like, it, I... it has parts, like, mm -hmm. next to it. But this is the best mid-game combo I've seen in this set. Uh, well, it's I good would, in the uh, set, certainly. 
I would say, yeah, A minus, I would say, just because lack of selectivity is can be annoying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah that, that's, that, that's my main hang up about it. It's just you you have to take that one particular card if you're going to take a card. And well, it's here, from here's... waiting room, so you'd have to yeah. mail yourself out. Yeah, yeah well, maybe here's... it is like. Mm. Here's the way I'm looking at it. If you set this up properly, it's a 107k. And if you have the target in waiting room, this is effectively union that always hits. And then, Where, uh, whereas union whiffs. Yeah, you could look at yeah. it that way. Yeah, you're just always yeah. blessing your other. Combo. I mean, if it's as easy, if it's as easy to get those guys in memory as Audi is implying that it is, it's in a minus in my book. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fair enough. It sounds pretty easy. I'm just like knee jerk giving it the straight A because like. I don't know. After seeing yellow and the trial deck, like I don't know. This is this the, the the best thing I've seen yet. I uh, know. That, <laughs> that trial so, deck was. Uh, hmm. I'm yeah. still being pessimistic because I'm still coming off a of goblin seer. Yeah. Everything looks bad. <laughs> Everything's good. All right. No, no, nothing's on. good. Brian, wrapping around to you. All right. Where are we? Uh, Eluso and Mirror Man. Yeah, is that where uh, we are? Uh, Thirty. Thirty-two. <laughs> Um, uh, Gyacho uh, Gyacho and, White and White Eyes Cryogenic World uh, Hand on core for each of your other Golden Wind characters gets 500 Oh and it's a 1-1 one, one. Uh, so, so I guess it's a, yeah, yeah. it's a standby target full board sits at 75 hand on core It's like a little worse than the Silica profile But like it's fine yeah. It's like C plus You it's, can only yeah. run in standby I, I, I would I Prefer just actually just playing the combo If I'm going to wall yeah, yeah, that I, seems I think so it's much better. Worth yeah, than playing a combo. I'll probably nice flavor though. Yeah, because he never dies. White album he, never dies. He never <laughs> dies. I, I hope all of his cards have have encore. I think most of them do, actually, <laughs> or like zombie or something. All right, moving on here. Uh, okay, Iluso and what is it? It says Mirror Man. Man, mirror. Man in the Mirror. Yeah. Uh, inside out world. So at the beginning of the counter step during your opponent's turn, <laughs> you may pay five and ditch two. If so, choose a level one or higher battling opponent of this card and put it at the bottom of your opponent's library. It's spicy. Yeah. Uh, um, where's, my, where's my dank theme rating? Yeah, this is um hard this to write. Like... It... <laughs> This, this is, is like a tw- this is like a 2015 effect. Yeah, it's like <laughs> this is so definitely it's spicy. It's definitely really <laughs> funny, but it's also definitely unplayable. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna give it a a D. But it, it's... in in fairness, D plus. This, this deck does build enough stock to make this. Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> you could actually play this effect, <laughs> but I don't think you'd actually want to waste the uh yeah the slots on it it's also ditch two as well and yeah ditch two is <laughs> yeah hand That's is yikes. actually an issue in the stack i mean i'm still giving it the plus for the for just the amazing factor of this it's just wow it's just so funny <sighs> when your opponent thinks they can priestess combo but they can't <laughs> damn all that just to deny priestess one priestess we don't we don't like just one just one (laughs) no try try field this you you don't even actually you don't even actually uh oh no it's counter step never mind yeah that's so weird at the beginning of a (laughs) of a counter step (laughs) like i mean it it, it can only be the counter step of this card like yeah so hey five dish you clear lane (laughs) LOL side attack. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Mm. All right. I don't want to look at this anymore. Let's let's look at a good card. Ollie, tell us about this good. This card. This is a pretty good card. Yeah. This is the uh, Risotto, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, inevitable assassination. Uh, cannot be chosen by target opponent's effects. Uh, when this is placed from hand stage, search for one golden wind. Show it to your opponent. Put it in your hand shelf of your library. Uh, on attack, uh, you can pay one ditch two. Look at the top three cards from your opponent's deck. Put uh, up to three of them in the waiting room. Put the rest back on top and shuffle their library. It's climaxless Mocha. Mocha Junior, yeah. Yeah. 
and it's uh, hexproof. Hexproof's pretty good right now. Yeah, and it searches, so it feeds yeah. it to its cost. Yeah, so like, what you could do is you could like, if you're playing against Konosuba, if you ran like two of these, right? You'd like play one of these, search the other one out, play the other one, uh, set, like crash your other lane. You're immune to, you know, Megumin or whatever. Mm -hmm. So you kind of warp their line of play. And then if you need to push for game that turn too, where you're like, oh, well, like this would be pretty good to push for game. I mean, like the leading climaxes in top three is pretty good. It's better than Mocha, even if you have to tap yourself out, quote unquote, to do it. I mean, un unlike Mocha, they do shuffle after you do top three here. Oh, okay, so they do shuffle, yeah. Yeah, so I guess it's more like Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it has to be two characters, which is a shame. This is still, like, I don't know, is this is this the best off finisher we've seen? Maybe. Like, in general? It, like, can tri uh, it selectively can trips? It's probably the best. I, I don't remember the yellow and blue stuff, but... uh. Yeah, neither do I. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, I already well, forget. Uh, <laughs> it was so weird. underwhelming. Yeah, yellow, yellow uh, was uh, not a great color. This, this is a, this is a solid card. It's a funny card for. I yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that it has selective cantrip and it's hexproof. Yeah. Like yeah. I, I don't even for the that English place. meta, hexproof is so good. Yeah. Especially if you're playing standby. Like I don't know if you want. You yeah. Could... Like actually, like being able to um like use its effect. And then, uh, like, being able to, like, deny, like, a money counter if you, like, hit it, hit some climaxes. Yeah. Is, is, mm. is, is pretty relevant. Like, immune to shield, immune to, like, you know, if somebody, like, stupidly tries to anti-change your standby target. Um, yep. Immune to Megamine clock kick. Yeah, it's pretty damn good. I'm, I'm, yep. I'm gonna give it an A. It's a good card. I will also. I will give it an A minus. I, I'm I'm right there with you. Yeah, A minus. I think. I think I overvalue hexproof in general. I think I just hate Konosuba. <laughs> I, I, I think I think you're right. Listen, listen, Carmen. No one no one know, understands how obnoxious hexproof is more than me. <laughs> I guess that's true. You have a lot of experience. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> It's a pretty good. It's a pretty good effect. Uh, yeah. I do, I think it still think it's a minus is fine. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't right. actually push damage. It just ensures that damage can go through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hopefully. Especially Maybe. if you're a standby deck and you're controlling board, like the yeah. like the decompression effects are far more valuable. It's like what I keep saying about Nodoka, how the Nodoka <laughs> climax combo is just better than my, because you're you're controlling board, so you're over swinging. So you're like, right. get a chance to decompress your opponent before you quote unquote overswing. Stuff like that. Yeah. All right. We can move on. Zach. Luso, the man in the mirror. Uh, for, it's a 4K with all your opponent's characters get P2 Encore. So, how good or bad is that drawback? I think this is one uh, of the better ones. I think that, I think that drawback is barely relevant. Yeah. Yeah. This is just like a conditionless 4K. It's a fine yeah. exercise, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you like you... 4Ks, it's fine. And it would have this card. Yeah, where's Andy? Just... Yeah. It, I just, I mean, depending on your feeling of coin flips, there's there's a there's a coin flip in red, so I don't know how much you would want to run this over that, but uh, I think this is fine. Yeah, it's like playable. Pretty solid. We, we do love coin flips here. Yeah. Well, I love coin flips. <laughs> um, yeah. It's like, I don't know, C+. Plus. I don't like just generic 4Ks, especially with um, Fate becoming more popular in English. Uh, where, yeah. like, their only real beater is the Shiro Stock Bomb. And, like, I don't know, Bang Dream runs a ton of bombs. Like, Bang Dream is really popular in English. I think C+, plus is fine. Yeah. It's playable, for sure. But Just beat Goblin Slayer. You kill the Chaser. Yeah. Yikes. Next. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is Brian, right? Yeah, this is uh, Babyhead, Crystal of Two People. Uh, global 500 power to your Golden Wind characters. And act, pay three, discard a character, or is this sack a character? Pay three, sack Restless. a character, rest this. Yeah. Uh, choose an event or climax in your waiting room, return it to hand. That's that's interesting. Is there like an event this is supposed to be targeting? Uh, there's a few pretty decent events in the set. Uh, there's a there's an oh, pretty solid like one zero counter. 
event. Uh, that's what you'll see later on. But um, I, I, I'm not entirely sure about this card. That's a steep cost just to plus one. Yeah. Like, that event yeah. better win you the game. Mm -hmm. I mean, because we live in a world where, like, there's Jinsu and... Yeah. Uh, well, way more efficient uh, cards that can grab uh, climaxes. Yeah. And, 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 the, and events with bonds to it. So I don't know how much you would actually want to value this card. It's, like, super generalized. But, like, in what deck do you run such a toolboxed like package that you need to be able to grab one specific one and it's Not only from set. waiting room clearly in the deck where you run eight climaxes yeah i mean I you know. i mean you you play bar and yeah you do play bar <laughs> so i don't know if you're <laughs> so you're not starved to get your level one combo up. yeah this is not worth it yeah i'm gonna give it like a d minus the the uh, the only part that's not saving it that's saving it from an f is the uh, five. level five yeah Global five is fine. Global five is pretty good. I, I like what it's trying to do, but it's just it's not like that what's good. the point? Like, yeah, that that's what I keep coming back to. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay, so this is me, Risotto and Metallica holding a traitor. Climax combo with this stock soul. Uh, when a mag when it's placed in the climax zone, choose one of your opponent's characters, and for the turn, it gets minus one k. <laughs> And you can rest this and choose a golden wind character and put it into your stock. Oh, it's alpaca. So okay. Alpaca. I don't alpaca care about benefits. I don't care about the first effect at all. Al <laughs> Alpaca's hella good. <laughs> yeah, this is so, this is a standby target, I guess. Okay, yeah. so I played with this card a bit mm -hmm. uh, when I was messing around with the the bar standby list. And uh, whenever I played it, it just felt like the worst standby target in my waiting room, to be honest. Well, you're, Ready, you're level yeah. one is stock charging, yeah. right? And yeah. You already get a bunch of stock off your level one combo, and you already have, like, way better, like, back row. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like, in one the one list, it's not that great. Yeah. And then, I mean, like, the first effect is pretty garbage. So, uh, I'm, I'm yeah. not... I, I don't really like this card. I just, oh, I love alpaca. Like maybe yeah, in, stock is, uh... like as a card, alpaca is pretty good. Like if you do, uh, maybe there's a green build. No, there's not a green build that doesn't run the bar combo. What? Who am I kidding? <laughs> yeah, they run bag, Carmen. Bag, bag. I'm just gonna give it a middle of the road C. I don't think this yeah. set even has bag. They don't print bag. It's so terrible. <laughs> well, well, cl well, clearly they have stock soul, so that's what you yeah. run instead. We do, we do love stock soul. But yeah, there is no reason if you're running the level one combo to really put this in your deck to dedicate mm -hmm. a slot to it because you're gonna stock charge off your level one, even if you whiff the plus, you're gonna stock charge. So, which is right. unfortunate. Too, too bad a set like Konosuba can't have this. Shut the fuck up, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Let's just. I mean, they just need to reprint uh, Union on the. Please no. <laughs> Stop. Just don't put U Union can't be Union's already on gates. Like, ugh. <laughs> all right, next. Oh, this is a spicy card. Yeah, it's all you. Uh, okay. Uh, for Maggio, clever assassin. Uh, pay one. Uh. Sack a character. Uh, when you use the back of this, you may uh, pay cost. If so, choose a level one. Uh, choose one of your level one or that. I can't read. If so, choose one of your opponent's characters whose level is higher than your opponent's level. Put it in the waiting room, and your opponent chooses up to one level zero lower character from his waiting room and puts it on the slot that was in. So it's an any change counter, and it's a twenty five hundred counter. Uh, I... This is the Gochisa counter on level two. I love this actually. Um... <laughs> Like, uh, like the the fact that it is a this stack counter or that you only counter. have to pay two, you only have to pay two overall. Mm -hmm. That's per really really the, good. The, I yeah, mean, I this guess. is the, I mean this is this is a this card's on the ban list on in Gucci you said. Granted, <laughs> yeah, it is on the ban still. list. Yeah, yeah, that one's on level one. Yeah, yeah, this is really uh, fucking good. Th this is a really strong card. Uh, you don't give up. You don't. Uh, it's not a money counter. 
Yeah. Because they right. still get the swing. Right. But you get the value of getting of uh basically giving them. Well, a no, they swing. don't. Do they get the swing? It doesn't say put it in play rested. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. Yeah. They they get the the character comes back in the same slot. The level zero gets the swing. Oh, so if they the swing, so if they swing, if they if they're a good player, they swing with their early play first. You anti change it in that lane because you're like, damn, my opponent was a good player. I have to money counter them in this lane. They get to swing in for one soul with that yeah. stood character. Okay. Yeah. So that's uh, the, that's the trade off for paying one less. I stock still here, think yeah. that's better, right? Because like, it's fine, yeah. Two to three versus eat one. Like at I that mean, point in the game, just, if you're playing, if your opponent's playing like a really high value early play, then yeah, this, this is, is more than worth it. This is, I mean, the, pretty much only the Amelia any changes I think is probably better than this. Yeah, this is yeah. this is really fucking good. I'm just gonna give it an A. And then uh, you know right. you force your opponent to crash a lane too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. I think you're right. Like, it's just like I don't know. Aggressively costed anti change like this, even with the drawbacks in English, I think is uh, just really good. Especially, and then you just coincidentally have sack counter in your deck, so Bang Dream never kills you. Yeah. If they're playing Yukina, so which is pretty good considering that everybody and their fucking mother plays Bang Dream in English. So, all right, Zach, you get the cool card. Yep. Uh, Prosciutto in the Thankful Death, Way to Readiness. This is the uh, target of the level one salvage yeah. for level one. Uh, on play, all your opponent's characters get minus X, X equal to the level of that character times a thousand. Uh, when this attacks, if a Great Death, which is a bar, is in your climax zone, you can pay two, ditch two. If you do, burn four, choose your opponent's, one of your opponent's characters, and it gets neg three. Hmm. Interesting. This, this is I I think this card's pretty good. Uh, if you try filled it, bar. yeah, it does climax with one the same bar. Yeah, it's the same bar. It's also, oh, it's the same bar. It also um, it's it's a really sick out to uh, Futaba. It's a really sick out oh. to Arm and back row. You play three of these, <laughs> yeah. Arm and dies. Yeah, no, three of these in the drop searcher, he dies. <laughs> Yeah, That's so awesome. this, so the main thing you're using this for is just like out like problem cards. Yeah, yeah. His power is so rel is so uh, strong, uh, and then it also just like it, it helps to like randomly push damage too. The cost is like eh, eh. Yeah, I mean like it's not as good as Xenon, right? But like we can keep saying like everybody in in the English meta. Can keep telling can keep telling me that Xenon is a bad card, and I still see Xenon win tournaments. <laughs> like, <laughs> like the card can't be that terrible, and this is on a much better trigger than Book. Jesus Christ, I fucked it up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> bar is much better than Book. <laughs> like, so and this, especially if if you're using it for a level one combo already. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's your salvage target, so. Yeah, there's really no reason to 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 play. I th I I really like the card. Yeah, I think this is like the it's fact powerful, that it's on the it's same bar. Out. It's it on is the same bar. Like yeah, yeah. It you is, just get yeah. to run this in the deck. If, if you're gonna run the good level one combo, you put this in your deck anyway, so you plus. Yeah, and then you just might be able to burn your opponent out for game if they're not compressed <laughs> yeah. or right. delete their it's, field. This is also like a pretty solid out to like standby decks too. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. And this comes out, like, before Fujimi in English. So, like, before people, yeah. uh, you know, like, not that Fujimi is, like, incredibly relevant or incredibly powerful. But I guess there's this whole notion in JP that after Fujimi 8 standby happened, people just played <laughs> nothing but standby. So, like, I don't know. Maybe that same sentiment will happen in English. <laughs> I doubt it. So, but, you know, no. it's, it's still pretty good for standby. Against them, I, th so. I think that's just a matter of like the 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 mindset and mentality of Japanese players. More True. So than, uh, yeah, they play so anything. slow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they give each other know, so right? much time. <laughs> yeah, they give each other so much time. It's like if you go first, okay, so you go second. They go first. They they like field their one level zero. You respond with one level zero, 
and they say, oh, my opponent will let me slow roll them, so they respond with one level zero. You then try field them with the climax, and they don't know what to do. <laughs> so it's like... The American way. The, uh, yeah, the eagle screech. Screech uh, that American way. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to... I'm gonna knee jerk just give this an A. I really like this yeah, card so a lot. Like, yeah. yeah. Like even with even without the climax combo, the the board clear if you field multiple mul yeah, if you field multiple of them is relevant. I it think is. it's better in English because if you try field this, which like people will obviously try to do, they're playing JoJo and they're like, I don't know, they care about the game but they're slightly newer. They're gonna say, I'm gonna try field my finisher, and they play all three of these out. They're gonna run into attack on Titan, and maybe they just kill Armin. Which just, you know, wins them board. Yeah. Uh, which is pretty good. So, Armin's like the best card in English wise for it, so. Alright. Yeah, let's move on. Really good card. Yeah. Uh, Brian, I think this is you. I think we're back around. Alright, we have uh, Pesci and Fisherman. Mamon. Uh, when this card is placed on the stage from your hand, mill two. If there's a level one or, or lower character among them, this can sign zero. without... Or at level zero or lower, it yeah. sides without soul penalty. Uh, when this card is placed into the waiting room from the stage, if you have two or less cards in memory, you choose one of those level one Prosciutto great teachings and send it to memory. Oh, that's a good card. Okay, yeah, it it mills and it <laughs> yeah. memory mill. compresses you, sets up your level one. I don't, I don't even I don't even care what he gets when you when you hit anything, but the no, fact that honestly, no, yeah. you hit a level zero, like I don't know if you're playing standby, you probably you're relying like fifteen, sixteen, maybe seventeen. So like high like normal chance to hit a zero. Higher than a climax though. So Yeah. He'll get his effect more often, whether or not it matters. And then when he dies, like you can just, you know, throw the card in memory and make your level one better, so. Yeah, and I mean, it's free mill, so you can't go wrong with that. Yeah, I like it. Uh, B plus yeah. only because, like, you only played in that one deck, but it's a good card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a good deck, though. Mm -hmm. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm probably going to give it a B, actually. Really? Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's 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 strong card in the context. Uh... But, uh, how should I say this? It's, it doesn't feel as good to draw, uh, okay. at the other point, but, like, at the early game. So it's not as good of a shitter as it looks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just because milling yeah. too, like, late game, like, can, can put you in some bad spots. Especially, yeah, it is mandatory. And, like, I don't know, we're in a kind of a crash meta, too, where it's, like, yeah. You kind of just crash your yeah. shitter and force your opponent to overswing instead of uh, leaving a body there. So, like, the side doesn't really matter Yeah. as much. But, okay, yeah. Still a good card. Yeah, mm -hmm. still a good card. You definitely run it if you're running the other level 1 package. Yeah, so. yeah definitely. It's part of the package. All right, next. Uh, is this me? This is me. It's Carmen. Oh, or... it's me. It's Carmen. Yeah, it's Carmen. Oh, no, where were we? Uh... <laughs> Oh no, what's the actual name of this stand? <laughs> it's um It says Tender Machine, but I don't trust it. S and M. Uh it's, uh Soft Machine, that's right. Uh Zuchero and Soft Machine. Uh aiming for hidden things. So on play, ditch a character, if so, search your library for a this uh one o vanilla. <laughs> Show it to your opponent, put it in your hand, shelf your library. Um and then also when it's placed, you can ditch a card from your hand and choose when, the when same. When it dies. When it dies, you grab the card from your waiting room and you put it on the same place. Okay. You, this so, is a pretty shitty Apple's bond. <laughs> yeah, it's like when it dies, it turns into the 1-0. So like when your opponent doesn't read the text and kills it on your turn two, you might have a 1 5500 <laughs> if you like ditched it. <laughs> it's um... basically Gorilla Grud. Yeah. This is... <laughs> this is pretty not good, especially since I'm pretty sure there's like no way of actually uh, like pumping up the 5500 much. Yeah, this yeah. is... Uh... Uh, no. This is... I'm just going to F it. This is okay. bad, yeah. <laughs> or you know what? F plus because it can't... The second effect can ditch whatever you want. 
Yeah, so the you first can... effect yeah. can ditch and no, only ditch a character. Yeah, you can search <laughs> this, then ditch it when it dies, and then yeah, sound I, like already just ditched. I, I guess it's a discard outlet. Yeah, D, D minus for ditch out is where yeah. I am. It also like thins one card in your deck, which I, mean, I guess you know, maybe <laughs> love to, we love to compress. <laughs> it a bit hopes. It's a it's a five card brainstorm, man. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it is a five card brainstorm. <laughs> seems that. seems pretty good. <laughs> All right. Uh, nobody has to waste their time with this vanilla. Just, just fucking uh, put B, shit B on it. B for basically an oversize. Yeah. B for vanilla. All right. All you can tell us about this next card. Okay, sure. It is... Um, what the fuck is this name again? Oh, uh, Giacho and uh, White... White this Album. Is White Album, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's White Album, yeah. White Album. The translation is so weird. Yeah, the translation is very whack. White Album, Cry Quietly. Uh, pay one, ditch two, uh, one is reserved, uh, pay cost, rest this card, and reverse the battle opponent of this card. Um, so it just always... <laughs> what? That's, <laughs> a, that's, a, that's a funny effect. It's a, it's a dank meme. Yeah. Just it's, always it's kills its battle opponent. If, yeah, if you want to kill the cost, it kills opponent. whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a two-soul beater. Could stand by it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Is this like the is this like the funniest target to hit when you like <laughs> have a reverse character in the... front row? One of never standby deck. This is definitely a six standby target. <laughs> I don't know if you'd actually want to play this though. Yeah, I don't know because it's only reverse. Like, who cares? Maybe if it like just hard removed the card from the game. For... Um, I guess if you want to look at it as a. It's a two soul anti change bomb. Actually, it's not even a bomb. Sort guess. of. So. <laughs> You'd have to like ditch pay two three anti -change. ditch two anti chain. Okay, yeah, I I hate it. <laughs> I love it. F. F. I'm I'm gonna give it the dank meme rating. Yeah, yeah I'm, gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a D because it's funny. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is D for dank. I, I could I could see this as a one of in an Andy deck for sure though. Yeah, this is like <laughs> this is an Andy effect. <laughs> All right, Zach, tell us about this last card. This uh, Sorby and Galado's disappearance. Uh, rest for understanding characters. If you do, choose up to two your opponent's characters, and they get minus fifteen for turn. What? Uh, rest something like two things fifteen for free. Yeah. Well, well neg, one neg card. One. Neg one. Yeah. Neg one, yeah. Well, you have to rest a standing card. Yeah. Just so neg two. Well, you, you can just rest a back row. Yeah. It's can you afford to do that, though? Okay. Um, yeah. In, certain, in these situations, I think you can afford to do it, but. Super I niche. I don't yeah. think yeah. that's worth playing the card. Minus no. 1500 is pretty. It's like a not D bad. plus. Yeah, it's, it's like borderline bad. Maybe if it was like 3K. Yeah, if it did yeah. like, more. if it did more, it just doesn't do enough. Yeah. All right. Well, you get what you pay for. It's zero, zero yeah, cost. It's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a common event. You, those aren't very. You definitely get what you pay for. <laughs> yeah. So, like, side note: these like Hotsy translations are like <laughs> even more suspect than usual. I guess they knew that this uh, this set wouldn't get like. uh it wouldn't be allowed to be played, so they just kind of said whatever. Oh, 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 you know, you can you can pay three with that uh, baby face and grab this. Damn. Ooh, that was a two three. <laughs> <laughs> two three. Two three. Stand. Two three. Rest a character. <laughs> and you have to sack a character too. Damn. <laughs> two three. Neg. Neg two. <laughs> minus fifteen. And then you have to neg for this card too. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, it seems pretty good. Yeah, it seems pretty bad. All right, yeah, I guess that's it for green. I guess the only good things in green were uh, the combo and the card supporting it, and the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah the, uh, that that the, one package. The whole package and um... the risotto and the backup are like yeah, and the, the, the hexproof level three too. Yeah, yeah that's that, what I said. The risotto. I mean that that one package did sell me though. I kind of want to build that. Just it's 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 so, so it seems like it all fun. Yeah, got the drop search. Dude, yeah. wanting, to, wanting to sell JoJo's deck. Yeah, <laughs> wanted to sell JoJo's JP by JoJo's okay. name. I already, I already got rid of. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, 
But yeah, I think Man, that's I get, it. I give the dankest deal for that tag. <laughs> All right, I think that's it for green, right? Yeah, yeah, that's it for green. All right. Okay, uh, Pittsburgh White Schwartz signing off. We'll see you guys at red.